Hello everybody, since Jan 2023, that's within 15 months to date, NVIDIA stock price has increased by 450%. Micron Technologies, another semiconductor company, their stock has increased by more than 100%. Semiconductor industry itself is riding on a high wave. And in the recent news, Intel has announced that they have raised $20 billion from the US government. Yes, not $20 million, but $20 billion from the US government in the form of grants and loans. Now, this semiconductor growth story is not just limited to the US. Even India is being a part of this growth story. Exfino, one of the specialist staffing firms, apologies if I'm not spelling the name correctly, they have announced that a group of companies within the semiconductor space like Keynes Technology, Micron Technologies and a few more companies together are looking to hire 12,000 plus employees in the next one year. Now, in this video though, we are not just going to focus on only the semiconductor industry. When one industry grows, we need to also look at what are the impacts, both direct, indirect and induced impacts because of just one industry growth. Let's start with the first point and what is the picture that comes to you when somebody says that I am working in semiconductor industry? Just close your eyes for five seconds and type your answer in the comment section. A lot of us would be thinking somebody in a white coat, right? Some lab, a researcher is working, right? Working on some small chips. This is what we envision is going into the semiconductor space. But no, it is not just about research. Research is actually a very small portion of the semiconductor space. The same specialist staffing firm has mentioned that within the semiconductor industry, these are some of the prominent roles. 28% of the roles are made up by semiconductor engineering guys. 19% of the roles are made up by mechanical engineers and 15% of the roles are made up by embedded systems guys. That adds up to roughly 62%. And where are the remaining 38% folks being hired from? If we look at the research from Oxford Economics, a fantastic piece of research and I'm giving you the link in the description box. Please go through that. It highlights what are the roles being hired within the semiconductor space even beyond these 62% typical semiconductor profiles. Management roles, 8%. Computers, that's your information and technology, that's again up to 6%. There is construction, labor, manufacturing, administrative staff. When one industry grows, it is not just about the profiles for only that industry. A lot of other roles also grow along with the core in that particular industry. And this is a point that we often miss. When we are looking out for jobs, we look for job in the same sector that we have been working. If you are in the IT services space, we think about jobs in the same sector. But can we actually look at other industries as well holistically and see if we can fit into that particular ecosystem, if our job profile fits into these ecosystems. When any industry is actually on a rise, you tend to get better salaries in those industries as well. So please do not ignore these adjacent industries. Now you might ask, hey, semiconductor roles, Yes, the Oxford Economics has done a great research, but is this the case with other industries as well? Absolutely, yes. And the reason is, typically when a company is growing or an industry is growing, there are three types of impacts that are expected within the ecosystem. Number one is direct impact. Number two is indirect impact. And number three is induced impact. And what do these things mean? In the direct impact terms, there is employment provided by companies within that industry or within a company that is expected to grow. In the indirect impact space, however, it is the upstream and downstream guys who would also benefit. For example, if you see there is growth in the fashion industry, typically during the holiday season, right? Now, the upstream is with respect to the manufacturing of these clothes. So a lot of boom in that space and the downstream activities is where the selling happens. And where do you see the sales happening? Let's say e-commerce sites. So e-commerce sites also provides a lot of jobs to the delivery executives and a lot of other enablers in the ecosystem. So it is not just one industry that grows. 
there are upstream activities with respect to manufacturing and downstream activities with respect to sales that are also pushing and creating indirect impact. Then what is the induced impact because of the employment that is generated both through direct and indirect means then there are new form of employment opportunities that are coming through the induced means. For example, all this set of employees working in the entire ecosystem go and purchase a few things. They go and spend that money on other places within the economy and that leads to more jobs. You can be a part of any of these three things because the total impact is an addition of all these three aspects. So when you are looking for a job, you need to know which industries are growing, which ecosystems are growing because these ecosystems could be the key for you, not just for the job, but also for that increment. That increments happens mostly in the industries which are growing. Now, how do you get to know these things. There is no rocket science behind it, guys. The first thing is you need to understand you have to be up to date with the market trends. You have to read a lot of news. I'm not saying NDTVs or I'm not saying Times of India, but you should actually read some business news. Business Standard is a good newspaper, Economic Times, these kind of things. Again, not just the stock market share prices, but the underlying trends is something which you will capture over time. The second thing I would highly recommend, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I will keep you updated on what are some of the industry trends. I can see that out of every 100 viewers on our channel, only 15 to 20% of you have subscribed to the channel. And I promise that you would be receiving good value as you continue to be subscribers over here. And let's move forward together. The third thing that I would also recommend is please go follow people from these industries. Whenever you get to see, let's say, semiconductor industry is growing or some other industry is growing. Go ahead and follow some of the key influencers in that industry or key figures in that industry on LinkedIn. When these guys post new articles or new material of their research, it gives a lot of points to ponder. Now, we are not living probably 10 or 20 years back where we do our job and we are good with that. And there is no external pressure for us. The times are changing and people are expecting a lot more from us. So we have to be up to date with respect to these things. And finally, keeping our eyes open beyond our day-to-day -day tasks is always helpful. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.